Texas Crown Club Ultra Premium. Huh. This would be good for a review video. Welcome back to the countertop. About nine months ago, I was in Amarillo, Texas, and I stopped at a liquor store to pick up some Lone Star beer. I hadn't had that beer since the 1990s, and what I remember, it was kind of cheap, crappy beer, and I thought it'd be fun to do a Cocktails with Squid video on that. I'll include a link to that video at the end of this one. They got bottles and cans. Better get cans. While I was there, something caught my attention. I saw a bottle of whiskey on the shelf that had a bag around it, not unlike Crown Royal whiskey. However, this bag was in the design of the state flag of Texas. And I thought to myself, oh, this is Texas whiskey. I've got to buy a bottle of this and bring it back and do a Cocktails with Squib video on it. I like to try out whiskeys from different places. So when I grabbed the bottle with the bag around it, off the shelf, like I'm doing right now, and I pulled the bag down, I saw on the label it said, Ultra Premium Texas Crown Club. And I thought, well, that's kind of a strange name for it. But then again, they've got the bag on here. So yeah, okay, they're playing off the Crown Royal thing, right? And you can see on the label, there's, there's two wooden oil derricks on there, and it says Texas Crown Club, 40% alcohol by volume, product of Canada. And I thought, what the heck? This is Canadian whiskey, just like Crown Royal, and it's, I guess, just uh, marketed like that. So I thought to myself, this would still be something interesting to try out. So what I've decided is that in this Cocktails with Squib video, I'm going to do a head-to-head -head comparison between Texas Crown Club and regular Crown Royal Canadian whiskeys. We're going to do a taste test at room temperature. We're not going to mix it with anything. We're not going to make any cocktails. And we're going to use lightly salted pretzels in between the taste test to cleanse the palate. My director will not just be directing, but also participating. That way you get two opinions in this video. So let's get started. All right, so I've removed the bag from both bottles. Incidentally, the Crown Royal that we bought didn't come with a bag. We didn't buy it in a box. It was just like this. This is actually the prop that I use for my high point holster video. It's a good idea to save your props, guys. So both of these are right around the same price range. I left the price tag on the Texas Crown, and back in January, it was going for $25. The Crown Royal we saw at the grocery store this morning when we were grocery shopping, I think was $27 or $28. So they're right around the same price range. They're also both 80 proof or 40% alcohol by volume. I'll go ahead and take the seals off of both bottles. So on the Texas Crown, it's just a clear plastic seal. Take that off. And there's a stopper. Kind of a, a cork style stopper and on the crown royal there's a plastic seal with a purple crown royal logo on it Let's see if i can peel this off on camera sometimes i have trouble with these but it's only on camera all right and it's just a plastic yeah see it's still on there only on camera, guys. There we go. It's just a plastic screw-off cap for the Crown Royal. So first, we'll go with the Crown Royal because we've had that. All right, so I've got a couple rocks glasses. I'll pour the Crown Royal. Just a little bit. All right, let's give it a try. So 
it's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit dry, more on the back end. It's not harsh at all. It's smooth. I've had smoother whiskeys, but for a Canadian whiskey, I think this is pretty good. This is kind of your, I guess, run of the mill whiskey for somebody who maybe isn't a whiskey drinker. Yeah, that sounds right. Do you think it's overly sweet or just a little bit sweet or? No, it's just a little bit sweet. All right. I like it like that. So it's definitely different than a bourbon. I'd say it's sweeter than a bourbon, but it's not too harsh. Now we'll try the Texas Crown Club. All right, now we're going to cleanse our palate with a pretzel or two. And I'll pour the Texas Crown Club. We've got some new rocks glasses here. It's the same color. It's a light brown. First, I guess, let's smell it. I think it smells a little bit sweeter and a little bit stronger alcohol smell than the Crown Royal. Yeah, it does have a stronger smell. All right. It's not bad, but I think it's a little bit more harsh than the Crown Royal. Agreed. There's this, um, it's not like a burning taste, but it's, um, I, I'm having trouble describing it. It's kind of there in the middle. Crown Royal tastes better, but... Texas Crown would probably do the job if you were doing a cocktail. I think if you mix this with something like cola or, or Dr. Pepper or something like that, uh, it, it, it might smooth it out a little bit, maybe tone down that alcohol, that strong alcohol taste. But overall, if I had to pick the two, since they're the same proof and the same price range, I think I would go with the Crown Royal. What do you think? I agree. So there you have it. We've compared two similar Canadian whiskeys, and it's just something that caught my attention on a road trip. From time to time, I come across something that I've never seen before, and I just want to try it out and more or less share it with the audience. So if you happen to be in Texas and you want to try some of this for yourself, it does come in two different size bottles. This is a smaller bottle. So I would say that if you're a Crown Royal drinker, You'll probably be okay with this, but you'll definitely be able to tell the difference. Thanks for watching. You know what? That's not the end of the video. We're going to add some Pepsi to it. Regular Pepsi. Say when, honey. Right there is good. not too bad it sweetens it up some but i don't think that's too harsh in pepsi no that's not bad at all so pepsi coke whatever kind of cola you like you might want to try that if you're trying out texas crown club for the first time and maybe you do think it's a little bit harsh not too bad thanks again for watching